Today we are going to talk about the four key softwares that I use in my digital product business to create my products. Without these I wouldn't have a business and it took me quite a few years to figure out which software to use when and for which process. So if you're interested which softwares do I use to create my digital product and uh, what I used in the past years to build up this business, then stay tuned. And if you are new here, hi, welcome. My name is Emesha from Everything Digital and here on this channel I talk about digital products, making money online and business finance. If you would like to see more behind the scene elements of my day-to-day -day life, then follow me on Instagram and sign up for our newsletter so you will find out when I announce what my secret project is. And if you would like to grab my 60 digital product idea list, click on the link down in the description. Without any further ado, let's talk about the softwares that I use in my digital product business. I will divide the, these softwares into two groups. In the first group, uh, I will talk about the softwares that I use for the printable planner shop. And uh, I would like to mention here that in the printable planner shop I also have some editable text fields and I will also talk about the software that I use to create those special elements. In the second group I will talk about softwares that I use to create the editable templates. The first software that I want to talk about is Adobe InDesign. This is the best software that I found to create the printable planners. There are other options as well, but this is what I have been using since the beginning and uh, it was really easy to learn it. It's a very intuitive software and because it was built to create magazines and books and, and these types of physical products, it works really good for printable digital products as well. Let's take a look inside InDesign and I will show you a few of the key features that I use uh, in my designs. This is how it looks inside InDesign. This is one of my older designs. It is very intuitive to use. You can see that up top here are the elements that you can use. I use tables a lot but there are some also other easy elements like the text and you can add color to the designs and you can easily resize uh, your documents if you uh, want to offer the same design in multiple size. You just have to click on this uh, icon, the page tool and then you select the size that you want to resize to and make sure to always use the scale button, the scale option here and you can resize your designs uh, very fast. For example, if you create, uh, let's say this bill payments tracker in an A4 format, you can create A5 US letter size and US half letter size with just four clicks, which I think it's uh, very fast. After I'm done creating the design here in InDesign, nowadays I make them more complicated than what you can see on the screen now, I save it and I export it in PDF. And now let's hop over to the next software so that I can show you how I add those editable text fields and checkmark boxes. The next software that I use on a day-to-day -day basis is Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. This is the pro and paid version of the Adobe PDF Reader. The free version can be used by the end client to fill in their details, but to create these text fields and checkmark boxes, you need the pro version, the paid one. There is a 30-day free trial for this. I included the link in the description box down below uh, where you can try it out uh, for 30 days. Here we have the same design. Adobe does a great job uh, recognizing uh, the text fields. Sometimes it has a harder time recognizing what uh, would you like to add there. So in those cases you have to edit manually. But I will show you how to add the text boxes uh, with just a few clicks. So as you can see the options menu is on the right hand side. And here we have to add another tool. So click on the more tools. And we have to find the prepare form and add that one. We just click on this uh, prepare form, then we hit start and in just a few seconds Adobe will add the text fields to the designs. This is a more complicated one with many rows uh, or well more columns and that's why it has a harder time recognizing what we want here. But now we can add the manually and adjust and we can of course copy paste so that we don't have to create each text field alone. If you would like an in-depth tutorial on how to use uh, Adobe uh, Pro DC and InDesign, just let me know in the comments and I will uh, create some tutorials here on the YouTube channel. And yes, and I resized it. Now, when you hit preview, you can see now that people can type in these uh, rows. 
And what I would like to also show you is another cool feature are the checkboxes, checkbox marks. So you just click on here, here is the checkbox mark and you just put it there, drag it to the correct size, you hit preview and when you click on it, it adds automatically a checkbox. So that is a really cool feature. Let's move on to the next software that I use in my digital product business. So here we are in the third software that I use on a day-to-day -day basis and that would be Photoshop. I created this uh, mock-up from a scene creator set that I purchased off Creative Market. And here you can see that uh, the pages have smart objects applied to them. This means that with just a few clicks we can add our designs to these pages and they will be displayed in this uh, binder. I will show you how that works. You just double click on this one. This is the right side of the planner and it will open up in a new window. And just like that, with a few clicks, we can uh, change the design that is uh, on this page. You have to hit save or uh, command S, control S. And after it's saved, after it's saved, you can see that uh, it will uh, appear. Yes, here is the essay planner page. So these would be the softwares that I use in my uh, printable planner shop section. Now let's move on to the editable templates shop and let's see which softwares do I use there the most. The first software that I use in the editable template shop is Canva. This is the platform that I use so that my clients are able to edit and customize the templates that they purchase from me. So here I just went ahead and created a new blank social media post size canvas and now they also have these great options here that uh, you can use and uh, customize but I like to create my own. Now to save time, let's just customize one of these pre-made options. Let's see which one do I like. Let's take this 30% off. This has a video in the background playing. That is good, but I don't want it at the moment. You can use code uh, summer 2022. And here it's your site. Change the background color. Something like that, I like it. This is ready for our example here. Now you just click on the share button and download, select the file format and hit the download button. And that would be how I create the digital product itself. When you use Canva together with Etsy, you use uh, template links uh, when you are delivering these templates to your end customers. This way your clients will not be able to edit the original design that you created the template link automatically creates a copy of your design in their account. Now we'll be using again Adobe Acrobat Pro DC to insert the link. I created a base. I will find it on my computer now. So here is a, a random PDF design that I created and it says download link. Now we are going to hit edit PDF and here we are going to click on add link. Select the area where we want the clickable link to be. Next, and you put the template link from Canva right here and save it. This is the PDF file that we will upload to Etsy so that uh, when a client purchases and downloads this PDF, they have a clickable link that will take them straight to their template that they purchased. And the third software that I use here also is uh, Photoshop. It works the same. I use mockups that I created together with my team and with a few clicks, with the help of the smart objects, we can really fast create our listing images. These are the softwares that I use on a day-to-day -day basis in my digital product business. You will find the link in the description to all four of them and feel free to try them out and experiment which one suits you better and in which one can you work the easiest. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please give it a like, consider subscribing to my channel and hit the notification bell so you will never miss another video. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye bye!